And I'm pleased to, to tell you today that uh, in January, our facilities planning council on campus uh, basically approved in concept the idea of an NPXC garden. I'm referring to, you, uh, to it as a plaza, and I'll show you why in just a minute. But basically an area that would represent all the NPXC groups on the campus. And so in January, that was approved by uh, the facilities planning committee. Let me show you an idea, give you an idea of the, uh, the architect's rendering of what we think what we're seeing here is basically a brick and limestone semicircle here that would have a monument type area for each of the nine groups that would have uh, the name of the group, the letters of the group, the insignia of the group, the colors of the group, and that kind of thing. And then it would be uh, bordered by the spring hurdles of the back. In that area behind the hall, bordering that parking lot where the Student Health Center is, is where we, in, uh, we plan to put this, and we've gotten approval to put this. Working on is putting together some kind of fundraising effort to try to raise money for this purpose. But I'm pleased to tell you today that uh, as of yesterday, I got a confirmation that uh, the university is going to put together some seed money to get this started. So rather than starting at zero, trying to get it to 200,000, 250,000, whatever, uh, the student affairs, we're coming up with $25,000. The provost has agreed to match that with $25,000. And then Blair Sparks, the vice chancellor of administration and finance, has agreed to kick in 25. So there's $75,000 that's going to be seed money toward this development that the university is putting into an account to get this started.